to have ignorant Mexicans instead of educated so we can go to college. That's what those uh, walkouts were back uh, in the 68. Thank you. Thank you very much, Frank Norwood. Okay, uh, Dr. Fernandez. Thank you very much, uh, David. Uh, I'm Dr. John Fernandez. I'm a member of the Coalition to Protect Lincoln Heights. That was my neighborhood. Lincoln Heights, also a member of the Full Rights for Immigrants Coalition. We've put on about 35 marches in downtown LA, in Las Calles Olympic y Broadway, luchando para los derechos de los inmigrantes, because right now they're deporting, they're deporting us in record numbers. They even go to the, co the courthouses and deport. They, there was a guy that was taking his pregnant uh, wife to the hospital, they got him and uh, they deported him. Uh, this has got to stop. So we were asking the community to unite. People uh, have mentioned that we have to vote. Yeah, we, we, ha we have to vote, but we have to unite because what happens sometimes, we have 10 people that are, that are Mexicanos, Latinos, and they're running for the same office and that dilutes the vote and then somebody else gets in that's not really the person we want. We have to unite. Yeah, we have to vote, but we have to unite and we have to have one candidate. Now, my political uh, uh, journey started, mi camino political comenzó allá en, en, en el agosto uh, 29, 1970, allá en Laguna Park. Ahora se llama Salazar Park. Y Salazar lo mataron, okay, the sheriffs. Those same guys over here. Pero los sheriffs ya son diferentes. Ya no son gringos. Ahora son, son uh, uh, mexicanos, chicanos. Okay? Y, se, y es, son pandilleros. Tienen tatuados. Las pandillas, los bandidos, los jump out boys. Okay? Tenemos también chicanos falsas como el uh, vaca. Okay? Vaca, they got him for lying. He was deporting people. He wasn't letting them get out on bail, especially the immigrants. They were calling ICE. Abajo con ICE. We don't need ICE. So we don't need Latinos like that. We don't need sheriffs that are gangsters. I was there at Laguna Park when the sheriffs came and started beating everybody up and shoot, uh, throwing tear gas at us, uh, uh, shooting rockets at us. But we were against the war in Vietnam, and we're against all wars because los Estados Unidos no más quieren guerras para hacer dinero no más. It's all about the money. It's all about the oil. So we need people that are going to continue to struggle and they're continue to fight for our rights. Now, están hablando de la educación. We're 74%, 74% de la población de los, de los alumnos, okay? Pero nomás tenemos una persona en la mesa directiva de la Escuela de Los Ángeles, la Mónica García. Pero la Mónica García es un títere de las corporaciones, de las escuelas charters. She's a puppet. We need more people. We got to get people in. Como este hombre aquí, David. David should run for District 5. Ahorita el Distrito 5. Allá en Los Files, Highland Park, uh, Elysian Valley. No tenemos representante. Quieren otro, otro persona, otro anglo sajón. We don't need that. We need somebody that knows the culture and our needs. So we have to unite and continue to struggle. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Dr. John Fernandez. Uh, I'd like to introduce also, uh, um, Smiley, you want to come over here and say a few words? Hello. Uh, my name is Felipe. I would like to say that uh, that, your, that, uh, that the white people say that we're a minority. No, we're a majority. We're, we're uh, descendants from the Aztecs, and the Aztecs stuck together, not like, the, not like the Chicanos these days, killing each other off. What we should do is, like uh, my friend said right here, get out there and vote, you know? I mean, people think that uh, voting is, is uh, you know, for the white people, it's not, it's for us. We never get anything done if we don't stick together, you know? Like, like, like the youngest in school, you know, they think, nah, well, why should we do that? No, nah, we should do that. The only way, we should, uh, only way we're gonna get ahead is if we vote, change the laws, and stick together. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, our next speaker is um, John um, uh, John Morales. He's from he's uh, he's the uh, captain at the uh, Lone Polk Satellite, and he has a few words for us. Thank you, thank you. Um, how about a nice round of applause for everyone who spoke so far? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just like Dr. Sanchez said, I'm from Lone Polk uh, Satellite, and that would not be possible if uh, Dr. Sanchez would not start the Brown Berets back in the 60s. Back in the 60s was a different time. Um, it was a time of uh, organizing, unity, action, community action, protesting. It was a different time. It was, it, was, it was more than just a hashtag. It wasn't just hashtag all lives matter, hashtag I kneel with uh, Kaepernick. It was action, strong action to make changes, changes for the, uh, for the people, for the, for the Chicano people. And I think that's something that we need to, to continue, work on, motivate, uh, lead people, organize. Get involved in your community. Whatever issues you guys have going on in, in your community, you can make a change. Start with voting. Start with organizing. And uh, take it from there. But don't stop. It, life is more than just a hashtag. And we can do it. We can make changes. Thank you. It's very important to understand that what we do is to save lives. Uh, what we do is to save jobs. Uh, what we do is to create jobs for thousands and thousands of people. The Chicano movement ha has helped millions of people. Uh, and, and also to remember that our population is of like four, we're 40 million people, and yet we're the weakest minority in this nation. What's wrong with that? That's not our plan. You know, there's a half million Chicanos and Mexicanos in prison in the state of California. Is that our plan? No, that's not our plan. That's their plan. Okay, so we have to put our plan into place. Uh, I'd like to also introduce uh, Alfredo. Alfredo, just for the close for closing. Yes, my name is Alfredo. Uh, I've been a long time activist, probably for about 25 years. Uh, when I was going to school, um, I started to see, you know, that we were uh, treated as a second-class citizen, second-class students, second-class employees. I've been employed for 25 years since graduating from college, and I still see the same thing, you know, the same systematic treatment of our people, you know, uh, living like a shadow employee, just being a number. You know, the Asians, you know, they come to this country, they take the best jobs, but you know what? They only come here for the money. You know, and the gringo, you know, lo looks, at, looks at us, he knows we're the original people of this land, but you know what? He rather treat the Asian with more respect. Why? Because the Asian has more money than we do. You know, but we know that money is not everything. You know, our culture is sacred here on these lands. You know, we're not gonna sell out to any monetary value. You know, we value the life of our ancestors, you know, our Indian mother, our Indian father. You know, so we, we need to understand, we need to under, let our generations understand that we're not going to be living in our own land as a shadow. You know, that's got to stop. We have to recognize ourselves that we are people of dignity, and that's how we got to move forward. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to uh, be ending this. Uh, we're going to have uh, refreshments over at the uh, offices of the uh, Mexican American University. Uh, we got hamburgers on the grill and some other refreshments that I'm sure you all enjoy. So please come to the offices of the Mexican American University. Can we hear Chicano? Okay. 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 I'll get that as well. Okay. I also like to tell everybody, uh, uh, Chicano, Power. Chicano, Power. Chicano, Power. Chicano. Power. Thank you, everybody, for coming. <laughs>